Hello student. Today we are going to discuss about a structure of a flower. Now it's a very common flower, China rose or hibiscus. Okay. Now as you all know that flower has four holes. The first one is the calyx and each unit of the calyx is known as the sepal so see here now this is the pedicel or peduncle or flower stem and at the base of the flower that means this total greenish part this total part is the calyx and these are the epicalyx okay now each part of the calyx this part this one each part is known as the sepal okay now the next hole is the corolla now the whole colorful region this whole things is the corolla and each unit this one this one this one and this one is the petal so there are five petals one two three four and the five now the next hole that means the male part is the androsium so here this part the whole thing is the androsium and the unit of androsium now see here some yellowy structures okay now these are the anther and at the base of the anther there is a tiny structure this one this one this tiny structure is actually the filament and the whole thing where the anther and the filament this whole thing is known as the stamen and this stamen is the unit of androsium or the male part of the flower. Now here the female part, now this is the starting of the female part, this one its remain height inside the male part okay and at the base of it here there is the ovary so now we are going to separate four holes and try to the structure in detail okay so let's start So at first we just want to separate this calyx. So here we just give a superficial insertion, just superficial one. inside it so here you can see it's a superficial insertion and now we want to try to separate it from the whole part so just see
so this is the sepal okay our first these are the epicalyx first hole this is the calyx and each part this one is the sepal okay <clears throat> now the next part that means the petals so just separate it first one second one third one fourth one and the fifth one so here is the all the petals are here and this hole is known as the corolla and each part is known as the petal this is our first hole this is our second hole okay so this is actually the main reproductive part where male and female part are present so now we are going to separate this male part and the female part now here i am just trying to see you the anther now this yellowish color this all the yellowish color this yellowish colors are the pollen grains and where these pollen grains are present it's a anther okay and it's the this one it's the filament okay now just try to separate it so students now we are going to separate the male part and the female part that means androsium and the gynosium from this structure okay and for that at first we give a small insertion inside this structure just a small insertion not the deeper one just So let's start to separate. The students see here.
every thing is now going to clear and see here this is the inside the covering it's the female part okay and just So now we are going to open the ovary. Just have patience and try to remove the outer covering. Okay. Now I think it's going to clear just, just some minutes so see here the covering and I am trying to remove it So get it now see here again I am showing you this tiny structure is the stamen but two things are present this one is enter the yellow one and this one is the filament so here is our male part and rosy okay and this one is our female part So here, this is our male part, androsium, and see, anther is pollen grains are here in my hand, and the unit, this unit, all the units are stamen. okay this one this one is stamen and here it's the unit this is our female part gynosium and the unit is known as the pistil now this is the pistil single pistil now here Three things are present, three parts are present. First one, this is stigma. This portion, style. And this bulky portion, triangular portion, this portion is actually the ovary. Okay, so this is the male part, this is the female part. Okay, so 
it's all about the four holes now again we are just recapitulate it so just a minute here this hole is the calyx and each triangular shepherd structure is known as the sepal the next hole is the corolla and each structure is known as the petal now the male part is the androsium so this is the androsium and each tiny structure each tiny structure is the stamen and stamen has two parts the eolish portions are the anther carrying the pollen grains and the tiny structure which attaches the anther to this eolish structure is the filament okay now the female part this is the stigma these five things so this is the stigma this portion is a style and this portion is the ovary and this is the female part known as the pistil okay so this is all about the structure of a flower thank you